In this video, we are going to discuss projection of square prism with the condition axis inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Basic conditions of the topic projection of solids are already explained in the previous videos. Let us see a specific problem. A square prism of base side 40 mm and height 65 mm has an edge of its base on the HP. Its axis is inclined at 45 degree to HP and parallel to VP, draw its projections. In this problem, the square prism is resting on the ground or HP with its base edge. At the same time, the axis is inclined to HP. Whenever a solid is resting with its base edge and axis inclined to HP, that particular edge on which the object is resting will be perpendicular to VP. This problem can be drawn in two stages. Since the axis is inclined to HP, in the first stage, we will assume that the axis is perpendicular to HP. When the axis is perpendicular to HP, its base shape can be seen in the plan or top view. While drawing the plan of the first stage, one edge should be perpendicular to XY line because that edge is perpendicular to VP. After drawing the XY line, draw the square in the plan by having one of its edge perpendicular to VP. A prism has two bases, one at the top and one at the bottom. These two bases can be differentiated by giving numbers for the bottom base corners and smaller case alphabets for the top base corners. 1, 2, 3 and 4 can be given for the bottom base corners and A, B, C and D for the top base corners. Now we have to project these corners to draw the elevation. For drawing the axis, the center of the base is to be located. Draw diagonals of the square. These diagonals will be intersecting at the center of the base. These diagonal lines need not be dark because they are drawn only to locate the center of the base. The center of base can be projected above the XY line as the axis of the elevation and mark the height on this axis. Project the base corner points from the plan. While drawing projection lines, make sure that they are also not drawn dark. Because these projection lines or guide lines or reference lines are drawn to locate the corresponding points in the other views. Now complete the elevation. In the elevation, bottom base corners are named as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Similarly, the top base corners are A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. These are the first stage plan and elevation by assuming that the prism is resting with its entire base on HP with its axis perpendicular to HP. It should be noted that whenever the axis of the solid is perpendicular to HP, definitely the base will be on HP or at least parallel to HP. In our actual case, our actual problem says that the axis is inclined to HP. For prisms, all the longer edges and rectangular faces are parallel to the axis. So this axis inclination can be taken on the sides also. When the axis of the object is tilted, the visible and invisible features of the second stage elevation remain the same as that of the first stage elevation. The only difference is the second stage elevation is tilted. So draw a 45 degree line from the XY line because the axis is 45 degree inclined to HP. Length of this line is equal to the height of the prism. With respect to this line, construct the second stage elevation as a tilted first stage elevation.
Name the points of second stage elevation corresponding to the first stage elevation. For drawing the final plan or the second stage plan, project all those points from the second stage elevation and all those points from the first stage plan also. Trace and locate the corresponding points of intersection. While looking from the top, the top base is fully visible. Hence, all the edges AB, BC, CD and DA should be drawn as dark lines. The bottom base is partially visible. Edges 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4, 1 are visible. The edge 3, 4 on which the object is resting will be invisible. So, the edge 3, 4 should be drawn as a dashed line or hidden line or dotted line. Longer edges of the prism 2B and 3C are overlapping. Further, these longer edges 2B and 3C are part of a rectangular face. That rectangular face is perpendicular to HP. So when a plane is when a plane or a face is perpendicular to HP, that can be seen as a line in the plan. Same is with the longer edge 1A and 4D also. There we go. We have drawn the projections of square prism resting on the ground with its base edge and axis inclined to HP.